Hello, this is practice it, exercise 17.2, count empty. The problem reads, write a method, count empty, that returns the number of empty branches in a tree. An empty tree is considered to have one empty branch, the tree itself. For non-empty trees, your methods should count the total number of empty branches among the nodes of the tree. A leaf node has two empty branches, and a node with one non-empty child has one empty branch. A node with two non-empty tree, a full branch, has no empty branches. For example, the tree below has 15 empty branches indicated by the circles. And assume that you are adding this method to the entry class as defined below. Okay, so we'll first um, start by putting everything inside our method. So public int and then count empty, which is what we're going to call it. Um, which is also given by the problem. And um, we're going to store everything inside a private variable, like earlier um, in the previous question. So return, and then we're just going to name this count, and then overall roots. Okay, and then we'll get our private, private int, and then we'll just call this count. And then we can say int tree node, and then call this node as well. Okay, and then um, we're going to count for our null value. So um, it says an empty tree is considered to have one empty branch, the tree itself. So um, technically, if our node is null, that means we still do have one. So oh, actually, we're just going to pass one return. So we don't need that. So return one, it's like that. And then um, now we just need to add our um, left node for, and our right node together to determine our count. So um, we can just say return and then count and then get our left node plus count and then our right node like that. And um, that's pretty much it. Let's run it. And yep, that passes all the test cases that we have. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, but otherwise that's it for this problem and we'll see you next time.